Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today, let me introduce you uh, the brand new Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max. Whoa, this is a big phone. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is awesome. 5G Ghost Pro, the A14 Bionic Rockets passed every other smartphone chip out there. The Pro Camera system takes low light photography to the next level with an even bigger jump on iPhone 12 Pro Max like seen here in that video. And Ceramic Shield delivers our times better drop performance. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look what this thing can do for us. Yeah, less bezel, more screen. Yeah. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is 6.7 inches large with a Super Retina XDR display. You can see the iPhone 12 Pro versus the 12 Pro Max. That's another dimension. Wow! Ooh. Let's compare this to the 11. The iPhone 11 Pro Max was 6.5 inches. The new iPhone 12 Pro Max is 6.7 inches, 0.2 inches bigger. Love it. Both of them comes with a Super Retina XDR display. That's mm, the fact. But it's bigger. That means you have more screen. Kicks glass. Ceramic shield. Toucher than any smartphone glass out there. The iPhone already had the touch of glass in a smartphone. So to dramatically increase the durability of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, they had to introduce an all new material, nanoscale ceramic crystals, and a ceramic shield. It's made by introducing nano ceramic crystals, which are actually harder than most metals, into glass. Sounds simple, but it's incredibly difficult because most ceramics aren't transparent. Like our mm, toilet. You can see, it's not transparent. It's white or brown. <sighs> what the fuck? How did it's possible to get ceramic invisible or transparent by controlling the type of crystals and degree of crystallity. They developed an exclusive formula that maximized the touchiness of the ceramic while remaining optical clear. This was the breakthrough that made ceramic shield ideally suitable for the display. It's the first in any smartphone and it's touchier than any smartphone glass. And dual Eon exchange process. The touch is great, but they also wanted to make it scratch resistant. So, using the dual Eon exchange process, they use on the back glass. They protect against neck scratch and everyday wear and tear. And four times better drop performance. Beyond the ceramic shield, there's one more thing that contributes to the durability of the front cover. It sits flush to the edge of the phone, which helps protect it even more. Altogether, they have quarter applet, the drop performance, the largest year of year improvement ever for iPhone. Oh, and we have Sir Gisel great stainless steel on the on the on the re, on the right and left and the upper and the sounds on the side of the phone. The before the phones were a little bit um, smoother in the angle at at the edges. Now we come back to a really mm, really nearly ninety degrees, but. There is stainless steel, Sir Jiggle Great. And blow other phones out of the border. The industry leading IP68 water resistant is a dead iPhone. And for finishing touches, Pacific Blue, Gold, Silver, and Graphite, as shown here. And we can use artificial reality. 
inside our phone because of the lunar scanner and all others. We can use artificial reality so much more better than before and we can use it super fast when wireless. Hello 5G! 5G transforms the iPhone with accelerated wireless speeds and better performance on congested networks. Now we can download huge files on the go or stream high quality HDR movies without all the lag iPhone also has the most 5G bands of any smartphones, so we get 5G in more places. I hope this, because in my place it's not available so much, so we have to wait. But this is a future project for me. And all the speed opens up amazing possibilities for the future of apps. That means iPhone makes the most of 5G. And we have a 14 Bionic. The only thing even close was the Apple iPhone's last chip. The A14 Bionic is the first 5 nanometer chip in the industry. With advanced components library atoms wide, 40% more transistors, rev up speeds while increasing efficiency for a great battery life. And a new ISP Power Dolby Vision recording, something no pro movie cameras, let alone any other phone, can do. Up to 50% faster CPU and GPU than the other smartphone chip. First 5 nm chip in the industry, 11.8 billion transistors. Wow! Up to 80% faster neural engine and 16 core neural engine, up to 70% faster machine learning accelerators. Oh, generations ahead of any other smartphone chip. And we have a LiDAR scanner, AR, artificial reality at the speed of light. Awesome. Really awesome. The LiDAR scanner on the iPhone 12 Pro Max measures how long it takes light to reflect back from objects. So it can create a depth map of any space we are in. Because it's ultra fast and accurate, AR apps can now transform a room into a realistic rainforest or show us exactly how a new sneakers will fit. The NASA is developing LiDAR technology for Mars missions, a depth map in nanoseconds. Oh, the iPhone is already designed from the ground up for artificial reality. And now the LiDAR scanner in the iPhone 12 Pro Max takes things to a whole new level. A detailed depth map in nanoseconds. The LiDAR scanner measures absolutely depth by timing how long it takes invisible line beams to travel from the transmitters to the objects, then back to the trans uh, receivers. And the LiDAR works with the depth frameworks of iOS 14 to create a tremendous amount of high resolution data spanning the camera's entire field of view. And the beams pulls in nanoseconds constantly measuring the scene and refining the depth map for artificial reality that's a game changer and instant artificial reality. LiDAR can instantly understand the surface in our space, so our apps can get right to work analyze the scene and creating custom experience. And we have a scene geometry with a detailed re presentation of every surface in a room. The LiDAR can place content everywhere it should go to look realistic. Whatever that's on the curve of our couch, the back of our chair or even our math desk. That makes IR apps much smarter. For example, if a landscape is being projected onto our living room, the grass will grow only on the floor and spread right up to the furniture, completely adaptive to our space. And advanced Oculus 
a more accurate depth map also allows the iPhone 12 Pro Max to understand which objects are front or other. So if RR characters run through your driveway, they will accurately pass behind our car and in front of the tree, keeping us fully immersed in our experience. And it's a camera that stays in the dark, night mode, night mode portraits. The LiDAR also unlocks advanced compatibilities for the Pro camera system, including up to six times faster autofocus in low light. And on the wide camera, the detail of the LiDAR depth map makes night mode portraits possible. Now even in low light, the neural engine can render our subject in focus against a beautiful blurred background. That's all about LiDAR, because it will gain our experience so much more. And here it comes, the bad thing I think, the Pro camera system. A new day for night mode. Night mode comes to both the wide and the ultra wide cameras, and it's better than ever at cap capturing incredible low light shots. The LiDAR makes night mode portraits possible, and the wide camera lets in 27% more light for great detail in sharper focus day or night. Oh, wide camera with 1.6 aperture captures, 27% more light, new 7 elements wide lens for edge to edge sharpness, and new OIS makes 5000 adjustments per second. The leader delivers up to 6 times faster out of focus in low light. And here it comes, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is cameras maximos. The bigger iPhone Maxes out the Pro camera system, a 47 percent larger sensor and a larger pixel dramatically increase the amount of light gathered on the wide camera. A new OIS stabilized the sensor instead of the lens, so our shots are steady even when we are not. And the new 65 millimeter telephoto camera lets as zoom and tighter on portraits. 87 percent better low light photos, 5 times optical zoom range and bigger 1.7 macrometer pixels, new sensor shift, optical image stabilization. And this is awesome, steady as we go. The optical image stabilization OIS on the iPhone 12 Pro Max now makes adjustment awesome. Because it will adjust 5,000 time, 5, times per second. Woo! This is 5 times faster than the iPhone 11 Pro. And it does an amazing job of keeping photos sharp and videos steady. But to stabilize the iPhone 12 Pro Max wide camera, they had to come up with an entirely different system. New camera, new OIS. They gave the iPhone 12 Pro Max, a larger wide sensor with bigger pixel to gather more light for more detail and color in our photos. And they engineered a stabilization solution that moves just the sensor, keeping it even steadier than before. That's Sensor Shift OIS. And it's a game changer. DSLR technology at iPhone scale. Until now, sensor shift stabilization was only on DSLR cameras. This is the first time it's been adapted to iPhone. Wherever we are shooting videos or our kids as us chase them around the parks or hauling our phone out the window on a bumper road, we will get more precise stabilization than ever. This is an uh, nearly GoPro thing. In GoPro, there is a good stabilization too, but the GoPro is only a cam. This here is a smartphone. Yeah, awesome. And portraits that comes out at night. The night mode portraits on the white cameras gives us the vivid color as well as beautiful bouquet that accurately lit buildings, street lights, any backgrounds lights. We can handle that. Even with a single small light source, the leader 
and the A14 Bionic can render every pattern and texture on your screen. And we have Deep Fusion. It kicks in for low to mind light scene. The neural engine analyzes multiple exposures pixel by pixel to bring out unpresently detail. Awesome. And portrait mode? Fine tuned. Machine learning on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is even better at separating the job deck from the background, for example, and create creative controls. Let's us adjust the background blur and light on faces. More detail in the blink of artificial intelligence. That is Smart HDR3. Automatically refines high lights, shadows and contours. Artificial intelligence is there and helps us. And Smart HDR3 captures every bit of gold hour magic. Really awesome. Smart HDR is awesome. But I have a little bit trouble with um, HDR3 um, if I'm shooting some videos with it and upload it to YouTube and then um, you will have a playback there. Sometimes it's so glowy. Hmm. Too much shiny. I don't know why. Because on my device it looks beautiful. Eh, maybe a background problem. This will fix soon, maybe. Shot easy photos. Shot awesome videos. And this in front side and the back side. Because you have a snapshot of each camera. You have on the iPhone 12 Pro Max a 26 mm focus or focal length, 1.7 micrometer pixels and 1.6 aperture, 100% focus pixels, 7 element lens and it comes with sensor shift OIR. This is the wide camera. We have an ultra wide camera too because we have three systems there. The ultra wide camera comes with 13 mm focal length, 120 degrees fields of view, 2.4 aperture, 5 element lens and lens correction. And then there's more, telephoto. The telephoto lens. This is on the left um, downside. This is a 65 mm um, focal length, 2.2 aperture and focus pixels. 6 element lens and OIS. Awesome. And we have Apple Pro RAW for an absurd amount of creative control. The Pro RAW gives us all the standard RAW information along with the Apple Image Pipeline data. So we can get a head start on editing with noise reduction and multi-frame exposure adjustment already in place. And have more time to treat color and white balance. And there it comes, Dolby Vision recording. 60 times more colors, infinitely more spectacular. Awesome. This is the first camera ever to record in Dolby Vision. A new pro with the experience on, on an iPhone. The jump from 8 to 10 bit HDR recording is tremendous, capturing tons more color and adding end to end Dolby Vision. From capture to edit to playback allows the iPhone 12 Pro Max to do even more than movie industry camera. And we have real time Dolby Vision capture. Today, Dolby Vision grading is applied across the entire movie and post production. It's a time consuming process that happens on pro computers in editing studios. Now, this huge workflow is in our pocket <laughs> to do it. They had to create a whole new way to dynamically provide Dolby Vision tuning to each frame. As we go, Apple Design ISP. How does it work? iPhone 12 Pro Max takes two experts and runs them through the custom image signal processor to create a histogram, which is a graph of the tonal values in each frame. The Dolby Vision metadata is the general based on that histogram. 
it takes the cheer speed of a 14 Bionic to do this in real time. And Dolby Vision editing on a smartphone before 12 Pro Max, we should not shoot Dolby Vision, <laughs> let alone edit it on a smartphone. Now we can edit all our Dolby Vision videos right from our iPhone in the photo app, in the iMovie or clips, or from our Mac with Final Cut Pro. And start to finish in Dolby Vision. The iPhone 12 Pro Max, with its insanely fast chip, lets us shoot 4K Dolby Vision video up to 60 frames. 60 frames, 4K, edited easily in all the ways we are used to, and blasted to our TV with a tap using AirPlay. It's an amazing experience that can't be found on any other phone out there. This is a huge step. This is the iPhone 12 Pro jumps from 8 to 10 bit HDR recording, capturing 700 million colors for much more lifelike videos. Then it goes one better, recording Dolby Vision, the format used by the film industry. We can even edit Dolby Vision video and use AirPlay to see every last bit of the difference on the big screen. Oh, now every night is movie night, really. The wide camera, larger sensor brings way more detail of the shadows. And for the first time, we can take night mode time-lapse videos with a tripod to capture scenes with dramatic motion. Now even our movies can pull and pull and all night pull on. 87% better low light video with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. New ISB with improved noise reduction for more detail. And true depth camera. It's never too late to take another night mode selfie. The night mode comes to the front camera, bringing all that low light detail and natural color to us, favorite subjects. Diffuse Smart RGR3 and Dolby Vision recording are now on the True Depth camera too, so we will look our best in any light. And we have a Super Retina XDR display, an infinity pool of pixels. Mm, how can we? make the biggest, brighter display better? Easy. Apple did that in the iPhone 12 Pro Max. A new design with flat edges on our flexible custom OLED allowed them to push the screen amazing colors, brightness and contrast right to the very airy edge. Up to 1200 nits peak brightness for HDR photos and movies and 2 million to 1 contrast ratio for true blacks and bright whites. A over 3.4 million pixels in 12 Pro Max, the most ever in an iPhone. And we can use a MagSafe accessories. Everything is just a click away. We can use instant attraction. We can use a wallet on the back side etc this is a new thing and we have when we can use turbocharge able system because of that but this you have all as you can see buy separately because in the box is only the iphone um a sim extraction tool a label and a lightning to usb c wire that is it no power supply no power no 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 <laughs> This is out. They reduced the carbon footprint by thinking inside the box. The carbon savings equal to 450,000 fever cars on the road per year. The iPhone 12 Pro Max works with existing power adapters, ear parts with lightning connectors and USB-A to lightning cables. Because there are billions of those out in the world. New ones often go unused. So Apple are removing them from the box. But what is if you are a newbie, if you never have an Apple um, device before, you will need that and you have to buy that separately. And there is a problem. If it's Christmas time, 
uh, and you wrap this iPhone out of your your gift and then you have only I think 45 minutes to play with them <laughs> with this iPhone because you do not have any power supply then you have a problem at home because uh, you will have to buy this separately hmm I think that's not the solution hmm but okay it is for better carbon saving this reduces the carbon emissions and avoids the mining and use of personal materials. It is also shrinks the package, allowing more boxes per shipment and fewer shipment overall. They are transitioning the manufacturing partners to renewable energy as well. Altogether, this eliminates over 2 million metric tons of carbon emissions annually. This is awesome. To charge the new iPhone, we can continue to use our USB A to lightning cable. Or we can take advantage of a fast charging with the USB C to lightning cable now included in the box, which works with existing USB C power adapters and computer ports. Okay. Okay. I can handle this. And you can handle this too. Best wonder, uh, worldwide coverage. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has up to 20 5G bands and up to 32 LTE bands, more than any other smartphones, for the most extensive coverage around the world. And twice the starting storage. The iPhone 12 Pro Max starts at 128GB of storage, doubling the space for things like photos and videos, and more shots, less lags. Snapping shots quickly, iPhone intelligently adapts, speeding up processing so we can capture all the action. And special audio with Dolby Atmos. Sounds move around us in 3D space. Oh, so we feel like we are inside the action. And we can have two numbers. Dual SIM with eSIM lets us have both a personal number and a business number on the same iPhone. And of course, this is awesome, but you will need an electronic SIM for it. You cannot attach two standard SIM cards. This is not possible. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the maximum power. It comes with ceramic shield front, texture matte glass, back and stainless steel design. And it comes in silver graphite gold or Pacific blue. It comes in the capacity of 128, 256 or 512 like shown here, gigabit capacity. The size and the wide of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Wide is 3.07 inches. These are 78.1 millimeters. Height is 6.33 inches. These are 160.8 millimeters. And the depth is 0.29 inches. These are 7.4 millimeters. And the weight is 8.03 ounces. These are 202.28 grams. And the display. The iPhone 12 Pro Max have a Super Retina XDR display 6.7 inches diagonal, all screen OLED display 2778 by 1284 pixel, and the resolution at 458 ppi. The iPhone 12 Pro Max display has round corners that follow a beautiful curved design, and these corners are within a standard rectangle. When measured as a standard rectangular shape, the screen is 6.68 inches diagonally. Okay, actually, viewable areas is less. And both models contains HDR display, True Tone, White Color P3, Haptic Touch, 2 million to 1 contrast ratio, typically 800 nits, maximum brightness typical of 1200 nits, maximum brightness HDR, fingerprint resistant Oleo phobic coating. Supports for display of multiple languages and characters simultaneously. And of course it's splash water and dust resistant. But take care, it's rated IP68. Maximum depth of 6 meters up to 30 minutes under IEC standard 60529. It comes with an 840 Bionic chip. This is the next generation for neural engine. 
and camera system. Oh yeah, this is really awesome. Night mode portrait enabled by LiDAR scanner, petrol mode with advanced bokeh and depth control, portrait light with an 6FX, natural studio control, blah, blah, blah. And of course, you have a sensor shift, optical image stabilization, five element lens, ultra wide, six element lens, telephoto, seven element lens wide. You have the brighter true tone flash with slow sync, panorama up to 60, um, three even megapixel, zephyr crystal lens cover, 100% focus pixels, night mode, ultra wide and wide. Deep Fusion Smart HDR3, Apple Pro Raw, white color capture for photos and live photos, lens correction ultra wide, advanced red eye correction, photo geotagging, auto image stabilization, burst mode, image format captures HEIF and JPEG. That's awesome, isn't it? And you have video recording options. Uh, HDR videos are available in up to 60, fr 60 frames. You can shoot 4K videos, 1080p and 720p. That's playback zoom, video format recordings, HEVC and H.264 and stereo recording. Take 8 megapixels still photo while recording 4K videos, no problem. You can make cinematic video stabilization, 4K, 1080p and 720p. Extended dynamic range for video up to 60 frames. And you have a true depth camera, 12 megapixel capture. Night mode, deep fusion, smart HDR3, lens correction, retina flash, auto image stabilization, burst mode. Oh, yo, yo. Then you can enable by true depth camera for facial recognition, use Face ID. And you can use Apple Play. Apple Card. You can have um, 5G in all, uh, I think, all bands out there. Of course, you can use LTE, UMTS, AM, HSPA, DCHSPA, etc. GSM and Edge too, no problem. And um, 5G, Gigabit LTE with 4x4 MIMO and LAA, Wi-Fi 6 with 2.2 MMIO and Bluetooth 5 wireless technology, ultra wideband chip for special awareness, NFC with reader mode, express card with power reserve, and built-in GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Q and Baidu, digital compass, Wi-Fi, cellular, iBeacon, micro location. You can have video calling by face ID. Of course, in, in HD too, you can make audio calling, FaceTime audio, voice over LTE and Wi-Fi calling. You can make audio playback in uh, so much audio formats. You can make video playback in standard formats. You can use video, um, Siri. And if you're looking on the phone at the front side, you have a built-in stereo speaker on the upside. On the right side, you can see our uh, field side button. On the left side, you have a ring and silent button, volume up, volume down button. On the bottom side, you have the lightning connector. It's not a USB-C connector. Damn. Built-in microphones and built-in stereo speakers. The power and the battery. Video playback up to 20 hours. Video playback streamed up to 12 hours. Audio playback up to 80 hours. Wow. Built in rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Built in. The max safe wireless charging is up to 15 watt. QI wireless charging is possible up to 7.5 watt. No problem. And you can use MagSafe, you have sensors, Face ID, LiDAR scanner, barometer, 3 axis, gyro, accelerometer, proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, and the operation system is iOS 14. This is the world's most personal and secure mobile operation system out there. Awesome. This is an awesome iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this is really awesome. You can see the pictures, you can see the videos. It is awesome for our eyes and for every other things out there. iPhone 12 Pro Max.